First on the agenda is approve the agenda. Is there anything pertaining to the agenda? Uh, SA0652, it says American so Society of American Engineers. It should read American Society of Civil Engineers. New business, item one. Yeah. Oh, sorry. And a motion to amend American to Civil on the agenda. Is there a second? Second. Second to it. Are there any objections? No objections. That has been amended. Is there any other motions pertaining to the agenda? Senator Funk. I move to approve this agenda by unanimous consent. There's been a motion to approve the agenda by unanimous consent. Is there a second? Second. As in second to it. Are there any objections? Objections, the agenda has been approved. Next on the agenda is approval of minutes. Evan did not send out the minutes to me, therefore we do not have minutes on the agenda. We will get those out next week as long as they're done. So with that, moving to the student, the executive officer reports, uh, student body president. God, everyone is just gone today. Okay, <laughs> so with that, we'll move to the vice president of legislation. Thank you all for coming. The eight of you that showed up, good for you guys. Appreciate it. Um, so this is why, this is a great example of why we need to show up to our meetings because without quorum, we can't have a meeting. And all of these fantastic or organizations that are on the agenda can't be seen. So thank you all for showing up. This is why quorum is important. How many of you actually read my email this week? Thank you for being honest. Okay. So in that email, um, I mentioned the Student Achievement Celebration Awards. Um, this is an annual thing that Student Life and Leadership puts on. Basically, it recognizes all student leaders on campus, and there's one particular uh, award pertaining to student government, and it's Student Government Member of the Year. Um, basically, if you feel that someone has stepped up beyond their call of duty as a senator, as an SAB member, in the office, just in general, as long as they're not an executive officer, so me, James, Mag, and Andrew are excluded, um, you can nominate them for this award. Um, and they will be recognized in April at the Student Achievement Celebration. Nominations close this Friday, I believe, so it is like imperative that you guys get those in this week. Um, so if you think someone has really stepped up, um, it's been yourself or someone that you're really good friends with, you know, just nominate them. It's a good gesture. It's, uh, any questions on that? No. Okay. And there's also other awards like the student leaders, like the student leader of the year award that happens for all student leaders on campus. That's not just uh, for IPSGA. Um, so yeah. No questions. All right. So with that, we'll move into the vice president of finance report, Mr. Hobbs. Um, allocation special got passed pass to Dr. Norman for his approval and review. Other than that, I don't have much else to report. Right. Any questions for James? Now moving to the Vice President Program Report. SAB is actually having an event downstairs right now. Um, they're giving out free cookies and stuff to celebrate the first day of spring. Ooh, Sorry you guys have to be here and miss the cookies, but, um, but if you have any questions, I will relay them to Maggie. And likewise, if she has anything to share with you guys, I will do like that. So with that, moving the IPSJ reports, start with the president pro temp four. Uh, so he's not here. So we'll move to the committee chair reports. Uh, ways and means, Senator Funk. Hi guys, thank you all for being here. I hope you all had a wonderful weekend. I know I did. Um, <laughs> ways and means committee did meet last week. We approved a funding request and we will be meeting again this week at our normal time. Thank you. Any questions for Senator Funk? Now we'll go to the Legislative Affairs Report, Senator Burns. Uh, hello, the few of you. Thank you for coming. Um, I don't have much to say, but um, since two of my committee members are not at this meeting, I'm assuming they will not be at my meeting, so I will not be having committee this week. Any questions for Senator Burns? Now we'll move into the Public Relations Committee Report, Senator Show. Last week I kind of did an open house style meeting because I didn't really have anything that we needed to go over. So I just said, I'm going to be doing work, so if you want to come in and sit with me while I'm doing work, then you're welcome to. But I just had to email some people, um, so that's what we did last week. And then this week, depending on feedback I get, we'll 
decide whether we should have a meeting this week or not. Or not. Um, and actually, none of my committee members are here at all, so I'm just talking <laughs> myself here. But, uh, yeah, that's all. Any questions for Jessica? Now we'll move into the student affairs report, Senator Jaworski. Uh, I hope you guys all had a great weekend. Um, my committee just passed an amendment for the American Society of Civil Engineers. Uh, Constitution looked good. It was just a couple small things. Um, other than that, regular meeting time this week. Any questions for Jackson? No, we'll be the IPG coordinator report for Dorian. Hi, guys. Hope everybody had a great weekend. Um, just a couple of reminders for you guys. Um, Again, my broken record, but if you have not already signed up to volunteer for the big event, please sign up to volunteer. Um, also, you should have all received an email from me this morning about submitting your membership biography. Um, Jessica is working on the member of the month um, initiative. We will be piloting this, this semester and will continue um, forward, but we need your bios to do that. Um, I'll be also posting that information on the IPSJ website on our membership pages um, so that students can get to know you guys a little bit better. Um, additionally, this month, this week, um, we are part of the CityLink Big Bus Stuff, which is a food drive for Community Harvest Food Bank. We have a bin outside of our office and over in Kettler as well as over in at the Housing Clubhouse. Um, we are accepting canned goods and non-perishable food. Um, for each five cans of food that you donate to the IPSJ at the IPSJ office, you can get a pair of Comets tickets to a um, date of your choice. I think we have three different dates. Um, so you can get as many tickets as you bring in cans for. Um, I think that's it. Uh, this is the time of the year when lots of people are getting sick. That's probably why we are missing so many. Um, I myself am a little stuffed up today. Uh, <laughs> so please be taking your vitamin C and drinking lots of tea and orange juice and getting lots of rest so that you can be healthy and happy and continue to come to meetings. And that's all I got for you guys. Is there any questions for Victoria? into the media board report, Josh. Hey everybody, uh, everybody's staying healthy. Uh, as for the media board, this week we are covering the communication showcase on Thursday and the <laughs> National Honors Research Symposium, I think that's the full name. Um, I think that's, uh, that's on Friday. And as always, we are open to covering more events. If you have anything coming up you would like covered, <laughs> email me. I have business cards now I can hand out. If you would like one, I can give you one after the meeting. And uh, let's make the last month and a half great. Thank you, Josh. Are there any questions for Josh? If not, we'll move into the judicial court report. Um, so judicial court is alive. I saw them in active <laughs> last week, um, but I failed to email Matthias to forgot. Um, but they're working on a lot of stuff right now, so I'm at least glad to see them in action. I think there's two spots still open. Um, so if you know anyone that's interested in being in judicial court, they don't want a huge time commitment. Um, Andrew is still accepting uh, appointments for that. Um, but yeah, like Josh was saying, it's bittersweet. We have a month and a half yet left, which means my term is. <laughs> 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 um, but yeah, so with that, moving to new business. Top of the agenda, we have SA0652, American Society of Civil Engineers. Is a representative from that organization? Yeah. All right. You have five minutes to present your Okay. Um, AC would like to change our officer terms from the academic year to the calendar year. That's pretty much what we have. We want to do this because it's going to help us with transition. Because in the past years, we've had trouble with senior officers leaving after the summer and then the next officers don't have a way to contact them and we just have problems with communication so that's why we would like to do this. And I want to apologize. I think you guys submitted this back in August. Yeah, we did. <laughs> it got stuck in our Qualtrics form and we are, we've been dealing That's okay, don't worry. <laughs> issues with that all year so I sincerely apologize for it's that. Okay. 
Do you have any questions for our presenter? If not, we'll move into five minutes of debate. Is there any senator wishing to speak in favor or against this amendment? Senator Burns. I'm here to approve this constitution by unanimous consent. It's been a motion to approve this amendment by unanimous consent. Is there a second? Second. Second. second to it. Are there any objections? Yes, you did. No objections. This has been approved. Senators, next on the agenda we have SB 2252, the Chinese Club. Is there a representative from the organization? So they can use these stamps to exchange food later. So uh, last year we have approximately like about like 150 guests. That's a lot. And but uh, last year we don't have like many support from like many places. So Chinese club um, like has had the responsibility for local cost. But this year we like we we don't like we because of limited funding, so we cannot like the support. So I'm applying like the, the funding from the school for better like success for remarkable events. And as I said, they like use the stamps to exchange food and we prepare each club will prepare one or two kinds of traditional foods. It's not the Chinese American style, it's just traditional, real traditional traditional and we will put like notes on the side just in case someone allergic to some food. And, and this is mo most exact exact part. Uh, we will play the trivial question, and as you see in the picture, they're so excited and <laughs> yeah, because the winner will get the gifts from like answering the question correctly. And these questions are very simple. Like where is the capital of the China, Beijing, and that's it. I like that. And. Uh, we are really appreciated. We got like supported from many places like Office of International Education, Student Life and Leadership, and IPSJ, um, and we're gonna like uh, post flyers campus wide. And like we, as you may like, some of you may get emails from Jason's uh, replay email, and there's also the replay newsletter from the OIS. Uh, OIE, sorry. And these are the organizations and clubs that like, participated in this event. So I want to point out this: these three uh, clubs are the all the international clubs at IPFW by representing their countries in Asia. That's it. 
seven, that's it. So we try to collaborate with them, all of them, and then to how like create like event. And also we will collaborate with international student organizations, student international education, uh, even student housing clubhouse. And these are the budget and the total we are asking for the nine hundred and eighty eight dollars. And more than that, so uh, we are not just asking for that. We did a lot of like work on reducing the expense. So the first we got like discount. I just list one like as an example from the one uh, the Ichiban Asian restaurant. So, but we got many discount from many restaurants, and uh, we also get supported from the the church. Like they provide like about hundred dollars for buying the ingredients and also. This, they provide us the games, like instead of buying them, and so all these are the the, uh, the work we did for reducing the expense. So so we totally like, we actually saved like about four hundred and forty dollars right now. So we so the total were it should be like thousand over thousand, but up to like so less than thousand dollars. So that's it. Uh, thanks for your time and consideration. Any questions for our presenter? Um, what time was it? Uh, from 5 to 7 on March. All right. Thank you. So, to clarify in, your pre in the presentation you have that each organization has a budget, you are requesting on behalf of all uh, seven organizations? We are organizations? not applying like, as a Chinese club. As a whole, like I don't know how I'm gonna work. I mean, just how, I don't know what's that. That's your job. So I'm just I'm not like applying like as Chinese club. We as a whole. So so all set kind of yes Chinese club on behalf of all seven organizations. Yes. yes. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Um. So. Uh, in the original bill, um, under under. <coughs> Under other costs, you have seventy dollars for trivia question gifts. Could you kind of explain what those are? So, so, the winner will get a gifts, as I said, and they they will ask questions. So, if we prepare ten questions, we're gonna buy ten gifts. So, we need some like we're gonna buy like really cheap, not really expensive. Just some some students they actually bring some their like some gifts, like both from their countries. During their travel, so so that's actually after the like we save actually a lot just buying gifts. Are any of these gifts gift cards? Uh, no. No. Great. Anyone else have any questions? Thank you so much for your presentation. So senators, we'll now move into five minutes of debate. Any senators wishing to speak in favor or against this bill? Um, I believe that this is going to a good cause. I like the idea of it and the idea of um, promoting it with games and promoting culture. Uh, my only concern is that with the bill that we passed last week um, with changing the um, the budgeting, um, that's not being placed this semester, it's being placed in, in the following. We're talking about the allocation budget? Mm -hmm. This would have nothing to do with the allocation budget. I mean, I, I see your concern, um, but I mean, yeah, that's not being in implemented until next semester. So, per Jane's report last week, I think we have twenty-eight thousand left. Right. Yeah, I month. thought there was a uh, budget change that changing from a thousand coming down to seven fifty. Oh, 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 ten oh, thousand. It's going 10, 000, from ten thousand to seven thousand five hundred. But that still isn't being implemented okay. till next year. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, we're getting that. Good question, though. Very good question. I was just going to say that they seem to advertise really well and they also already fundraised what somewhat from their uh, restaurant restaurants they're getting food from. So with what Zach said and what I said, I move to approve this funding request by unanimous consent. A motion to approve this request by unanimous consent. Is there a second? Second. As a second to hit, are there any objections? Objections. This bill has been approved.
Alrighty, Senators, we'll now move into the open floor section of our agenda. Is there anyone wishing to speak during open floor? Audience members, are audience members included. Any updates? Have a good weekend. All right, with that, we'll move into the order. Anyone wishing to speak on the parliamentary procedure? Keep saying. With that, I'll take closing roll call. Senator Burns. Here. Senator Carolyn. Senator Allardy. Here. Senator Funk. Here. Senator Gishorn. Uh, Senator Hamm. Senator Jaworski. Here. Senator Leonard. Here. Senator Lunsford. Senator McClure. Here. Senator Shove. Here. Senator Crane. Here. Senator Weiner. Here. Here. Oh, no, we just did. Right. I adjourn this meeting.